Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to hop on and I wanted to show you the Coach Outlet Black Friday 2019 sale. It just went live this morning. I've been trying to film a couple videos on it, but every screen recording app that I can find starts to black out um, the Coach Outlet website. So I feel like maybe they have told Android and Windows that they don't want people to be able to record their website. So I am on my phone recording my laptop. So it's a little bit... Um, janky but this is what we got to do because I do want to show you guys um, some of the things that are available in the outlet online sale so the first thing that you can see is that up until 2 p.m. today which is uh, November 23rd 2019 um, you can get an extra 20% off of your order uh, and then usually what they do after the 2 p.m. mark is they then um, make it so that from like 2 to 6 p.m. it's like 15% off and then from uh, like 6 to 9 or whatever it's like 10% off. So if you do miss this uh, particular um, marked of the time then maybe you can still get um, some 15 or 20% off or 10% off, sorry. So the first thing I wanted to show you was um, retail bags, so, you know, deletes items that came from the retail boutique and then are now at the outlet. Um, the way that I usually find these is I go into handbags and I sort from high to low <clears throat> in terms of price. So you can see that extra 20% off. Great. So um, what you can see here is there are just a ton of rogues um, at the very top. So these are the most expensive bags. Um, you have beautiful quilting detail. You have the sequins, um, some fringe and suede more quilting, um, the tea rose detail. God, I love this rogue so much. I wish I could justify it. Um, I think it's so pretty, um, but it is probably pretty impractical because I bet it's pretty heavy. So all of these prices are going to be before the 20% off. So like this bag, the just standard black rogue would be 80% uh, of 262. So what is that? Uh, whew, it's like, so it'll be like $210, something like that, um, which are uh, no, that can't be right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Also, um, one thing you, I noticed, this thing does not sort from high to low very well. I think it's sorting from high to low on the, like, quote-unquote original price, because that's, like, $8.95, and it goes down. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, more Rogue 25 with quilting and rivets. If this came in black, I would buy it in a heartbeat. I think it is so pretty. Um, I really, really like the quilting detail, and there's going to be a dinky down here somewhere that has that quilting detail that I'm super tempted by. A uh, duffel shoulder bag, a dinky, and kind of a weird set of colors, so I don't really know um, if that's, you know, the best pick. And then, like, you know, more kind of more out there rogues in terms of colors, but there are, you know... A lot of these bags are brighter colors or something, and that's probably why they're on sale, but there are a lot of options that are kind of neutral, like, you know... This is a pretty neutral color. This dinky is uh, the dinky that I was talking about with the tea rose detail. So dang pretty. Um, I'm very tempted by it. Um, and now we're getting into the Rogue 25 area. So here you have a hot pink Rogue 25. You have one in the, I think this is called dark denim, but it has snakeskin detail. Um, and this is the Rogue that I actually just ordered. It's a navy blue Rogue with the floral rivets. Let me just show you actually. Um, and I'm super stoked about this. Before I switch pages, I do want to say the Ace Satchel, super appealing bag. It's already sold out. It wasn't sold out this morning when I first tried to film this video, um, but it's uh, such a pretty bag. And you have some page 27s. This one's obviously kind of a wild print, but there are some down below that are not as crazy of prints. So this is the Rogue that I got. You can see um, the floral detail there. It's so pretty. Um... You have the floral detail on the hang tag too. I am praying that this thing comes in good condition because if it does, I'm going to be so happy. If you guys remember, I ordered a Rogue 25 in the July coach sale. It was a great price, but it was just the plain black one. Um, and I returned it because I just felt guilty for how much I spent and I felt like we couldn't really um, justify the cost at that point in our lives. But now we're in like a bit better of a position um, and I don't feel as guilty and I'm super happy if this one comes out good, because I love these floral rivets, I love that I get more detail for basically the same price that I paid for that other one that I returned. Dinky with sequins. This is a super popular bag on the Purse Forum and on YouTube. Um, you have your Rogue shoulder bag. This is just the Rogue without the um, without the top handles. Uh, I think this looks like it's in a cross grain leather, maybe? No, it's just, well, I guess it's called grain leather. I don't know what that means. 
you know, there's just a ton in this sale. It's super exciting. Um, and, you know, I kind of wonder if the retail store is just not going to do as saddlebag, not as good of sales because there's so much available on the outlet online website. Um, so I am glad that I logged in. I wasn't really thinking about logging in because I've been kind of underwhelmed with Coach lately, but uh, I did get that rogue. There's a grace in the quilting. I wish this came in black. But, you know, uh, if this came in black, I might also hop on it because I really do like the grace bag. This dinky is the dinky that I was talking about. Um, I think it's such a pretty bag. Um, you have your quilting details and then also some rivets. And it's a 1941 bag based on the hang tag. Um, you know, mustard yellow interior. Such a pretty bag. I think it would be great for holiday parties. It's like a perfect little fancy clutch bag. Um, yeah, more dinkies. Similar kind of quilting and rivets detail here. Some Edies. You have your Edies with the suede detail on the side. Swaggers, Dinkies, Mercer. Um, the Page 27, that's what I was talking about. Much more neutral color. So if you're interested in this bag, I mean, it's going to be, uh, what, like $160. So much better than uh, retail price. Dinky with tea roses, although it's white. And white can be a difficult color, I think, um, to take care of. More page 27, some swaggers. There's a Charlie. Charlie's a very popular bag. Um, I am interested. There's a bunch of men's backpacks, of course. I am interested to see how these items are going to end up coming to us. Um, because, you know, my experiences with the Coach Outlet Black Friday sales is that things just come in really terrible condition. They come packed poorly. So I'm hoping that um, they come in good condition. Um, there's a large market tote. This is another thing I've really been interested in. The large market tote is um, very similar to the Neverfull in that if you can see those little points right there and there have a little string thing that you can use to pull in the corners to make it look um, kind of like an ED shape actually. Uh, and this one is the suede interior with an oxblood um, exterior and it's in a cross grain leather. It's weird because they only have one picture of this bag so that you can't see like the reversible side or the removable zip pouch but I assume it would be fine. Uh, so I was interested in this too but I can't justify buying both the Rogue and the Large Market Tote. Uh, the Quinn Satchel, another really interesting looking bag. It's like a very modern take on the Alma bag from Louis Vuitton. The Frame Bag, another great bag, a retail bag. Uh, I think it's in a different color down here too. Another Grace Bag. Saddle 23, another great bag. Um, but uh, the, the Frame Bag, I love this bag because it's like, it has this big wide opening with this kiss lock detail that's so pretty, but it's similar in shape to the Mini Bennett Satchel. Uh, it has like, you know, that satchel rounded, uh, almost bowling bag kind of shape, um, but you have this big wide opening that you can look into. And again, guys, sorry, I'm so sorry about the quality of this video. I just can't find a screen recorder that would record the Coach Outlet's website. I feel like they're, you know, trying to lock down um, the ability to record on their website. So I don't know. Mercer Satchel. Um, you know, just really great bags. Again, like, you know, some of the times I just feel like there's no point in buying retail at Coach because you can find good versions of these retail bags at the outlet if you just wait a couple months, you know, maybe six months or something, and you can get really good deals. Like, I was thinking about buying a Parker. Um, granted, I wasn't thinking about this color combination, and I don't think I would get it in a metallic color, but, you know, this is $154 minus 20%, so, you know, somewhere around $130-ish, right? Um, instead of the $350 I would have paid for retail. Um, yeah, I mean bunch of now we're getting I think well the dreamer but we're getting more into bags that were made for the outlet so I do want to switch our focus um, and look at well I guess <laughs> no we're not but now I want to look at bags that are made for outlet bags um, so I'm just gonna sort from low to high now just to show you some of the options that are on the lower end of the price point and I will say I don't know if I already said this but free shipping is on all orders um, so even if you only spend 20 something dollars, you know, on a wallet or a mini skinny or something, um, you'll still get free shipping. So you have a bunch of large wristlets. I'm going to scroll quickly past these cause I'm not super interested in them. Um, you do have large wristlet 19, which is basically similar to the Nolita. Um, that's a retail bag. Uh, this gallery pouch is super interesting to me. It's like a big clutch or big wristlet. Um, you can see it's in the cross grain leather. So super durable big it's it's nine by six and a half the only thing that I don't like about it is that you can't 
um, move the wrist strap to be like a small shoulder bag like you could with the large wristlet 25. I sold my large wristlet 25 and I'm really regretting it because I miss that bag a lot. Um, so some foldover wristlets, this Hayden foldover crossbody bag, super good deal. So this is going to be uh, like $48, $50 basically. And it's like the perfect little wallet on a chain, wallet on a strap really. Um, really good bag. I've, I've shown videos of this bag on my channel, but it comes in this beautiful red color that I think would be perfect what well, this is dark fuchsia it used to come in red so maybe you know whatever it comes in green is this green no that's blue but whatever it's still great for the holiday season um with that black you know neutral color some wristlets and now i'm going to try to scroll quickly um oh one thing i do want to say this file crossbody and the signature jacquard so it's a good price but you should know that the signature jacquard is not a coated canvas it's just a plain canvas so it's not as durable um and i would you know, I would think twice about buying the signature jacquard when you could buy something like the coated canvas um, for just maybe $10 more. You can see down here, here's the coated canvas and it's, uh, yeah, it's like $10 more. Um, they do sell during the holiday season a lot of boxed items. So it comes with a box and then the item. Great for gift giving, obviously. Um, here you have a Nolita. Um, the, this is the new Bennett crossbody. Um, it's like an updated version of the mini Bennett. This is a 1941 clutch. So this is, I'm, I'm on the fence about this because it, you know, it does look more useful because it has like that back zip pocket, um, and a removable strap, but I will say that it doesn't have top handles and it's a lot smaller than the mini Bennett. So I'm not sure it's like more of a mini bag and I'm not sure it would be super useful to me. Um, there's, they have all this Star Wars stuff that I think is kind of silly. I don't know. I'm not super into these, like, uh, they did one with, like, Wizard of Oz, too, and I just, I couldn't get on board. This zip top tote I've revealed on my channel before. Great tote. Doesn't fit a laptop, which is why I sold mine, but, um, really great tote. And you can see some of these items, you know, they look really nice in terms of the quality of the leather, um, if you can see on my screen. I hope this, the quality of this video isn't, like, absolutely terrible. Um, the mini Sierra Satchel is a good alternative to the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. Um, this dome crossbody, I don't know if you guys have seen my video on um, the Ivy crossbody that I bought, um, but uh, the, the Ivy crossbody used to have some trim that went like along and then came down, kind of like the Gucci Ophidia trim, um, but it was all wrinkly and gross and it was poor quality, and so I guess they just got rid of all that trim and now it's just a dome-shaped bag that is still very similar to the... Um, the Gucci Ophidia or even kind of the Alma BB with this like bottom separate piece of leather. Uh, but it, it has a little less detail, so I think it's a little less pretty. Lila crossbody, a good shape. More clutches, uh, 1941 clutches. Small Kelsey satchel. I'm going to reveal one of these from Poshmark actually on my channel soon. City zip top tote, good staple bag. It doesn't really fit a laptop, um, so not a really great work bag. But And, of course, you know, your ever-popular mini Bennett satchel. Um, they do have a new version of the mini Bennett that I probably am going to roll into soon. Oh, so this gallery tote, this is a great alternative to the Louis Vuitton Iena bag because it has, you know, basically the exact same shape with that outside zip pocket and everything. Um, great alternative. Um, this, this is the new, I think, mini Bennett shape. Um, it is the Rowan satchel. So it has an uh, outside zip pocket, and then the rest looks very similar to the mini Bennett. I think it'll still have the problems of that narrow opening, but uh, it has like the feet on the bottom. If you're interested in this shape, this has a little bit more features for really not that much more money, $20. Um, so it is probably a little bit bigger of a bag. This prairie satchel has been calling my name. I love the combination of black and brown. Um, it's only $80, but I did just buy a Rogue for $200, so I'm trying to control myself, but, and I also just bought a Kelsey satchel, so I can't buy this bag, but I really do like the shape of the Prairie satchel, a very comfortable bag against your body, and then you have your outside zip pocket that's very useful. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, Mayfile crossbody, another very useful bag, you know, one of those very comfortable shapes that's just, you can never go wrong with it. So there's just a ton available on the outlet sale right now. You should definitely go take a look. If you don't know how to get a um, get an invite to the sale, then you should definitely check out my video on that. It's one of my most viewed videos. I didn't realize it was so complicated or so... Uh, I, I guess I just didn't realize it was so confusing to try to get an invite because I've been reading the purse forum for a while, but I totally get how it's like super confusing and Coach makes it 
really difficult to figure out. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could just keep scrolling so you guys can see prices of things, I guess. Uh, now we're getting back into the, so we have a dinky here. I wonder, does it come in? Yeah, well, sold out. Um, lots of prairie satchels, a clutch with tea roses. Oh, so pretty. Um, yeah, just, a, oh, a baby bag. That's useful. Um, and then the only other thing I wanted to show you is if I go into accessories. Yeah, uh, go into wallets. Just show you what's available. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but zip wallet, you know, accordion. Um, with, with quilting, that quilting is really pretty. I think this is a retail item, really good price. Um, when you take 20% off of that, it's again like $50, so good price. Uh, another quilting detail, rivets, you know, these are pretty standard boring wallets, but if you need a new wallet and you wanted a coach one, great time to buy one. So yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up here because this video is getting long and will probably take 30 years to upload. So um, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you got in this latest online sale and uh, pray for me that I won't get in trouble for posting this video. Thanks guys. Bye.